Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Blue Eyed Girl Lacquer Fianta Dury and I'm going to stamp over it. Short and long nails. I started off with my normal base coat and here is Fianta Dury and I've topped it off with my usual top coat. <laughs> you are beautiful plate 02 is what I'm going to be using today and my Fabier Nails Stamper and my Clear Jelly Stamper Scraper. And this is Clean Colors Metallic Sapphire. It is not a stamping polish, but I'm going to stamp with it. And I'm using this kind of beaded garland looking image. And like I said, I'm doing this on my long nails and my short nails just to give you an idea of what it looks like on both lengths. And this will be my first video with my super duper nubs on my right hand. Um, I had a break a couple of weeks ago and I had to patch it. And the patch held out for a couple of weeks and then I um, went to take my nail polish off and the patch to redo the patch whoops got a runaway stamper <laughs> and when I did that it was just there was no saving it so I just decided let's embrace it and look at it as a new beginning and um, you know I really do believe that all nails short and long look better painted I don't care if they are back to the quick they still look better painted and I really don't mind having nubs on one hand it doesn't bother me at all except for when I'm typing and then it's a little distracting because my hands both feel different my fingertips so and I decided to break out this old Fabier Nails um, stamper I had been talking to someone about stampers. I do believe it was Angela and um, talking about how I'm always using my monocle stamper and what did I like about it? Why was it my favorite? So um, I decided, you know, I really I really do need to show some love to these other stampers. And since this, since this image didn't have to be placed in a particular spot, I just went ahead and used it. Um, I didn't have to worry about lining anything up here we go so some of these nails aren't turning out just perfect but you know that's what I love about an abstract design that you're stamping on your nails nobody's gonna notice it except for you and if it doesn't bother you then all is good right so I'm just stamping away here having a good old time but back to the monocle stamper I do prefer the monocle stamper and my main reason for loving that stamper so much is that it's been so durable because I really do push down into a stamper when I'm using them and I normally leave like boo-boos in them so I'm gonna clean up with some tape like I usually do and this doesn't come up really well with the tape some of it's coming up but I am gonna have to do some cleanup Thankfully, not too awful much, just a little bit. And the other thing I like about the monocle stamper is it's great for filming. You can see through it so I can get a decent shot sometimes through the camera lens. And so that's another reason why I love it so much. But we're going to finish this manicure off with some posh top coat. And it looks like I've already got smearing going on on some nails, but it really didn't smear but as that top coat dried it kind of fuzzied up that polish that I stamped with and I've never had that happen before maybe it's just because it's on a light color I don't know so here we go with the short nails oh here's my longer nails a swatch photo and a swatch photo of the shorter nails thanks for watching and until next time be good to yourself talk to you soon